I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars, Pisces. Now finally, Mercury, which is in your sign, the planet of commerce, communication, has been retrograde for three weeks or so, comes out of that retrograde phase this week. So it uh, goes direct on the 4th. So it's, it's keep in mind when a planet is stationary, when it's about to go direct or retrograde, can be the most unsettling time. Okay, now uh, you being the most sensitive sign of the zodiac, um, you know, cut yourself a break this week. I mean, don't put yourself in situations that you know are going to be upsetting or try to steer clear of people that push your buttons, okay? So you want to be kind to yourself. Be, be nice to yourself. And, you know, make sure you're looking after you because sometimes, you know, timing is everything. I really believe that. You know, sometimes you can just leave something for a couple of days, certainly if you don't feel right about it. Um, you are one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiac. You are also one of the most analytical signs of the zodiac. And you can have this conflict about, you know, do you listen to your mind or your heart or your, your you know, your right hand side of your mind or your left hand side of your mind. So I want to say to you to listen to your intuition always, but particularly this week, if something says to you, no, don't say that, don't tackle that, don't do, do that, or um you know leave it for a few days just uh, do that also i love the term sleep on it because uh, you know i i do believe that we we go off in the middle of the night in our sleep pattern and uh, we're in our spirit world and we we sort things out there we may not remember it but I, no doubt in my mind that we do go off and we sort things out and we come back and we wake up in the morning and um all of a sudden it's clear to us what we need to do okay so uh, you need to be for always taking notice of that and tuning into that okay no nothing new I know I've said this many times but uh, I know I know you Pisces you like to get into your analytical side of your brain as well and it doesn't always do you justice to do that now let's have a look at what else is happening. You have um, Mars still sitting opposite you in the solar seventh house of love and partnerships and relationships. Still retrograde, comes out of that phase on the 14th. So after that, give it a little bit of time after that, um, three, four, five days. And any issues to do on a personal level there are going to sort of free up and start to run more slow, smoothly. Now, particularly this week, there's a challenging aspect between Venus and Mars. Now, Venus and Mars are like the love duo. You know, Venus is the romance, Mars is the passion, to put it simply. So, it, and this is all happening uh, around the 4th, okay? Throw in, a, throw in a full moon on the 6th. Okay, so this is a good week to watch, listen and learn what's happening around you and to the people around you rather than, you know, good to step back and um, on the sidelines and look in and just see what's happening with situations rather than be impulsive and rash and, and dive in, okay. I'm not saying to avoid a situation, I'm just saying to sort of assess it, certainly analyze it and certainly see how you feel about it, okay. And getting towards the end of the week is a better time to tackle uh, anything that you feel that you you need to say or do to set a situation right or set it back on the on a, an even plane. Okay, let's have a look at what else quickly is happening in here. Um, sun is in your second house of money. There's um, and certainly with that full moon as well, both indicate a new start coming finances. Okay, so that's that's good news there. So stay stay positive. And as always, Pisces, you just cannot afford a negative thought. You know, what you put out is what you get back. So, um, you know, do your affirmations. Make sure, as I've said many times, to put your affirmations into the things that you want 
not put your energy into the things that you don't want. For example, say um, you, that you desire to be financially abundant rather than say you desire to be out of debt. Okay, so subtle, subtle difference there. Very, very important, particularly for you, Pisces, for all of us, but uh, particularly for you that you, you know, because you just soak up, uh, you know, energy and vibration so easily. Uh, um, you're like a sponge with that. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, so have a great week. Thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.